6, a wind farm that's been in talks and construction for a decade is now open. Well, the city of Grooms celebrated the opening of the Grandview Wind Farm along with bringing energy to the state. It'll bring a good amount of revenue to the city as well. ABC 7's Natalie Grand is in the studio with the story. Natalie? Lisa Larry, it's thousands of acres of wind power that will bring energy to thousands of homes across the state. The Grandview Wind Farm is now open, and along with wind, it's bringing jobs and money to Carson County. 118 wind turbines, 45,000 acres of land, and more than 200 megawatts of power. This is our windiest project by far. It's their famous wind that brought the Grandview Wind Farm to Carson County and gave the city of Groom something worth celebrating about today. If we're the windiest place in the country, so be it. Let's, let's profit from it somehow. Developers, county commissioners, and residents all attended the announcement of the Grandview Wind Farm, a project that's been in the works for a decade and officially began commercial operation last December. GE Financial Services and the German power and gas company E.ON partnered up to create the wind farm, emitting 211 0.2 megawatts of power to more than 60,000 homes across the state. Developers say the wind farm will bring clean power to the state of Texas while lowering energy costs. Carson County judges say the residents nearby will see a huge economic boost. We provided a, a tax abatement agreement, entered into, into a tax abatement agreement with E.ON uh, to abate the taxes for, for a period of, of uh, 10 years in exchange for an annual payment of $316,500. The development of the wind farm themselves is sort of the first step, and then what we see, hope to see on that is the uh, growth of additional uh, jobs and opportunities uh, for, the, for people in the area and people who start businesses in the area. Developers say Texas is the leader in providing renewable energy, and after the Senate recently passed a bill that would end the state's renewable portfolio standard, it's something they say they will keep their eye on. There continues to be a growing uh, support for projects like this that provide clean, homegrown, renewable energy. Developers also say they hope to expand the amount of power the wind farm puts out in the future. Along with announcing the opening of the wind farm, the developers also gave the city of Groom's ambulance service a check for $100,000 to be used toward the purchase of a new ambulance. From the Kennedy Broadcast Center, I'm Natalie Granda, ABC 7 News. Natalie, thank you.